Hi, this is Epic M Studios, and today I'm going to show you how to make an awesome um, electro house lead. Um, I'm going to be using this melody. So right now I have it uh, set up with a piano sound font. We're not going to be doing anything with that. That's just to show you what the melody sounds like um, on a piano. Uh, we're going to be making this in Zenatso Effects, my preferred synthesizer, um, and it's it's a pretty simple lead. It's um, something you hear in a lot of electro house songs, you know. So we're going to show the GUI, of course. Um, edit instrument. We can use Add Synth and go to Show Voice Parameters. Now this is going to be a very simple synth, as I had previously stated. Um, all we need is the power um, waveform, and we're going to set this to 20, not 19, 20, and that's that's good enough for it. Um, that's what we want it to be, and you don't really hear much here, at least you might not be able to, um, I don't either. But it doesn't sound like a lead, like for something like you do in Electro House. Um, I'm saying like way too much. Anyways, um, we're going to make it instead of zero for the octave, we'll set it to one. All right, and we're going to go first. We're going to go to the effects, and we're going to add a chorus effect. I'm also going to change the volume. And actually right now I'm just going to copy that melody um, over here. Just so we can edit it like this. Alright, and keep in mind we have the frequency set at half the filter frequency because um, that's going to affect how it sounds like. I'm going to just play with the um, filter envelope. Increase the filter frequency, see what it sounds like at the top. Yeah, it's sounding okay. Um, and we're going to add another effect. Um, I like to keep the middle one open. I think that the uh, reverberation should always come last, so the reverb. And set that to hall. Now, I'm going to add some punch to it, um, because when it's at the um, full, when it's at the highest um, point on the filter, um, on the knob, it's not getting that kind of like that, you know, that punch. So we're just going to add some punch, punch strength, we're going to change that. Alright. Now, this is sounding pretty good, but... Something I like to do, um, which I've discovered recently that sounds really awesome, just add a frequency LFO. Alright, now we're not going to do it like this. We're going to make it higher frequency to kind of give it a buzz.
So that's sounding pretty good. Now we're going to want to play with the portamento. Alright, let's just increase that to... Set it to the past um, 64. That'll turn it on. Now, as you can see right now, it's kind of taking a long time to uh, go from one note to another. So we're going to edit that. Go into the controllers. Um, I'm not going to set a threshold for it. So at any value, it'll be able to... Um, use the portamento and it's just bring down the time I'm just gonna stop this and I also don't want it to be um, no, this is optional but I don't want it to be so you can play two uh, notes at the same time I mean that sounds okay. I just for this synth, I want it to be mono, um, or you can set it to legato. But that way, if you're pressing down on a note and you leave that note pressed, and you press down on another note, and then release it, release the second note. So I can give you some pretty cool effects um, with your melodies. Um, for example, let me just... So it gives kind of that effect, I actually don't need to... Instead of having something that sounds like... Um yeah, I get spaced enough... Instead of having something that sounds like this... Now, that might be a small difference, but it does make a difference in the way it sounds. Um, again, like this. I think it's cool to be able to do that. It um, adds to the sound. And then if we uh, take out the buzz from the frequency LFO. Take out the punch. And yeah. So, um, that's pretty much it. Uh, I think this is a pretty nice sounding synth. You can use it for a lot of things um, in your electronic music, in your exploration of the genre. Um, Anyways, thank you for watching. I hope this helps you. Um, I hope this helps you make better songs, just have better sounds and everything. So, um, thanks for watching. If you have uh, anything you'd like me to do, um, so like anything with the sub effects, kind of electronic stuff like that, um, just tell me in the comments. Um, yeah, leave a like, subscribe. Uh, thank, f thank you for watching. Uh, goodbye.